Horse will be back next week to rock and roll one more time. The Heat will take the test. Interesting matchup, see how Heat Check Gaming, they're able to bounce back. But like you said, I mean, the game plan going in, I feel like for a lot of teams too, is that you want to try to get Majestic to beat you. Starts it off with a deuce there. Deeds getting dirty. He'll head to the line for more. The hot shot. Drop off. Back at the center and getting it done. It will be real interesting to kind of see and go through like the home and the Jazz come away with it. Up ahead to Tiffy, it's your world. And smooth. It doesn't get any easier than that. Wow. Sauter was drafted in the second round. Might be a first rounder now. Three minutes and change gone by. Deeds. Passes down low, and usually they're never tipped. Smooth. Another easy one for him. Just kind of sitting there saying, like, his transition has probably been the best out of anybody in this league who's gone from 6'10 down to 6'3 by him. Low scoring first quarter. Los is all low. Hot shot. Drop off. You're going to the playoffs. I mean, you're seeing complete momentum right now in favor of Heat Check Gaming in, in every way possible. They're forcing some bad shots. They're getting rebounds. They're working. Drop of the board. Los! You got to think about taking a timeout here, and they will. 23 to 15. Slaughter. Someone make it stop. And hyper up. Last time they scored. 1986. It was a Wednesday. It was a cold Wednesday night. It was in the, it was about a minute left in the first. Finally get one there. 29-18, a score here will make it a single digits. Majestic. All alone is hot shots. Jazz have only scored 22 points. Shot there from Slaughter. All right, thanks, Scott. And you can look at the Heat Check gaming squad right there, man. And, uh, yeah, you famous. Uh, he got those guys going, man. And uh, a great second quarter by those guys. Actually, an end to the first quarter. As you can see the Heat up by 11, 35, 24. Uh, I'm going to take you back to when it was 15 to 7. Jazz in complete control right. at first quarter there. It was a 22 to 1 run by those dudes from down on South Beach. 28 to 9 from that point on. And that's how you get an 11 point lead. Wow. I mean, drop off back at the center. The paint defense is a lot better. And Hot Shot, he took it personal. Good well, for him. I, they said that, you know, that paint defense was going to be a main uh, focus for the squad. So they're not kind of, they're, they're definitely not letting you down on that front. You know, one big thing I'm really noticing is, is that trash talk from Tiffy really seemed to fuel this team, man. They're, they're motivated. Like, you know, you want to run your mouth like that? We ain't even touched the <laughs> sticks yet. I'm going to shut you down quick. And, yeah, you had the lead early, but that's just nothing but a distant memory at this point. All right, let's take a look at the highlights and show you how the dudes from South Beach Hanging out there near Club Live. Highlights powered by Alienware. Back and forth affair in that first quarter. And we talked about it. Had some league reps that came down to Miami earlier yep. this week. And that got those guys a little more focused. They were able to relax. It's not a cakewalk, guys. I know I make a lot of jokes up here. We talk about Club Live and Club Mansion and being on Collins Avenue and South Beach <laughs> and all that. Those guys, they practice 10 to 12 hours a day. They practice, they're, you know, doing something six days a week. They only get one day off. They're earning their stripes down in Miami. They finally got a day to just breathe, and now they're playing like a team that won a ball game last week against the Knicks. Yeah, I'm playing like a team that just kind of got a, a breath of fresh air. You talk yes. about breathing, man. This team is really getting it done right now. And I'll tell you what, for the Jazz, if not for Deeds and Slaughter, this would look a lot 
Uh, a lot more worse than what you see right there. You know, again, hot shot. He's been the go-to man. You see Lowe's contributing as well. And just everybody really just pouring in some points. So thus far, it's been a good outing. No, nothing to talk about from three-point, man. But this paint battle we're seeing has been fun. Well, the focus has been on hot shot. And you can see hot shot doing his thing for the heat check, guys. 15 points. Compete. We spoke with him. He needs to be the playmaker. He's the steady guy. There it is. He says, I can get in the lane anytime I want. They need you, bro. They need you, big guy. Well, now, now's the time. Now's the time. Anytime, now is the time, my guy. And now's the time, my <laughs> guy, to go downstairs to the Intel analyst desk. A couple of guys down there. A couple my of guy. guys. A couple of dudes. Scott, dirt guys. He check a couple of They need something good to happen. Tiffy. At the elbow extended. If he didn't knock that down, they were going to give him the business. <laughs> so like, that is what's going down with Tiffy every single time he sets any sort of work. Hot shot. Proving why he's one of the best big men in the league. It's one of those times where you see a team that, especially when they're mashing, you'll have the other guy down there. Down a hot shot. They've just played really good defense. The Jazz have shot 13 of 35. Going to hot shot. And he is just dominating right now. Very. Normally I go through this whole spiel and all these things that are happening. But I'm going to watch the handshake line. There's going to be a, some professionalism, even some hugs there for Tiffy. It's all fun when it's all said and done. 80 to 54, a rare loss for the Utah Jazz, but Heat Check Gaming with a much deserved win. A huge one, guys. Up top to Larry and Phil. I'm, I might be taking an Uber back if I got if I got to ride home with that Jazz team back to the hotel. That, that is a rough <laughs> loss for them. Big win for you guys, though. What happened? These guys have been talking for a while, not just since the Tiffy interview. Nah, they've been talking so last night in the lobby. The trash talking, they took it to a whole new level. And this game was real personal for us. Well, it showed. Let's take a look at your highlights here. You went off. You almost had a triple-double. Of course, our highlights brought to you by Intel. Here's your performance of the game. And it started early. I mean, it was 15-15 at the end of the first. But then you guys just went off. Yeah, I mean, I told them lock in throughout the whole game. This is our game. Like, they have – I told them lock in throughout the whole game. We, we knew they had no offense, so we knew we were going to play good defense against them. Now we have to just put the ball in the net. And I told them keep coming to me. We tried changing things up. I through that second quarter, third quarter. I was like, nah, just keep feeding me. These can't guard me. Yeah, they had a trouble down there. Even when they brought Mr. Slaughter over, you were still able to get it in. And, and here's those statistics I'm talking about. Two assists away from a triple-double. Did you know you were two assists off? I knew it, but I didn't care for it. I just wanted to point their friends to the run-up because that's what they were telling us last night. There's a point there for the game for them. Yeah, they called it a stat game. They were going to put it up on you guys. You guys ended up putting it up on them. Big win for the Heat in our closing game for the night. Back to you, fellas.